Yeah, what up everybody? It's your boy Jamarly Trail. Now I'm gonna be running the PlayStation 3 emulator RPC S3. Now this emulator came out a couple years ago, but you know I wanted to wait for a little bit, you know, just to make sure they got a lot of the bugs fixed because it's a newer emulator. So um, I'm gonna be running a 10 terabyte hard drive loaded with like 1,040, 50 games, something like that. Uh, so let's get to it. And I went on YouTube and you know what I'm saying did a little research on the emulator so I could set the settings to 4K and fix all the texture issues with some of the games. So I did that ahead of time, but let's go. So let's see. I'm going to start off with um, Dragon Ball Z Raging Blast 2 since I had downloaded the game save from the internet. And I uploaded that on here. You can also add game saves, so you want to beat the game again. I want to unlock all the characters early. So let's go ahead and find Dragon Ball Z, Rage of Blast 2. I'm going to double click on that. Okay, let me enlarge the picture. All right, it looks like we're all good to go. So right now, it's, uh, the FPS is at 60. And I'm running in 4K. Now I already have a modded PlayStation 3, you know what I'm saying, that runs all the games perfect. So that's not an issue. I just wanted to test it out on the PC. I'm gonna let you guys see the intro to see if there's any texture issues or lag. And so far it looks crispy as hell, you know what I'm saying? It's fun playing this on the PS3, but you can only push it so far on the PS3. So on a gaming PC, you could take that shit even more further, you feel me? Graphic wise. I mean it looks good, so I'm gonna go ahead and start the game. Now, the reason why I click Rage and Blast 2 because, you know, Dragon Ball Z, Rage and Blast 2, and uh, what is it, uh, Budokai Tenkaichi 3 is one of the best Dragon Ball Z games ever made. Guaranteed. Tenkaichi 3, Rage and Blast 2. My top three for sure. Um, I'll select battle, select single battle. Let's fuck up Videl since she fucked up Gohan. You feel me? Gohan haven't been the same since he met this hoe. Look at her. Had the audacity to be in a damn video game. I mean, it looks crispy. Still running at 60 FPS. You guys can't see it because I have it cropped out. I mean, but it looks crispy as hell. Fuck out of here. And I'm playing with a PlayStation 4 controller um, using USB. I mean, you can play with an Xbox controller, uh, but I recommend if you're going to be playing PS3 games to use a PS4 controller because it's similar. You feel me? for Gohan, bitch. I mean, so, I mean, it looks good, so let me go ahead back about it here. I'm gonna select another game. Um, it's another game on here that I want to test. Um, well, I played 50 Cent Blood and Sand already, but I'm gonna show you guys.
And by the way, they're always, whoever created this emulator, they're always updating the emulator. I think like at least once a day, seriously. Like every time I get on this, there's always an update that fixes issues with most of the games that's on here. So let me go ahead and enlarge that. I'm running at right now at 60 FPS. 50 Trident report an engagement with Leila's helicopter near Kamal's location. Fuck, I'm on my way. Tell these bitches to hold them up till I get there. Shit. As you can see, there's no lag. I forgot how to play this. You know what I'm saying? It's been a, a couple of days. But as you can see, everything's running crispy. 60 FPS. So I'm going to select another game right now. Uh, oh yeah, another thing I want to show you guys. You see these little dots right here, the compatibility dots. So I think green is telling you that everything plays perfect. The gameplay, the cutscenes, everything. Now if you see these yellow dots right here, most likely the gameplay is perfect, but the cutscenes have issues. And some of the games that I've seen with some of the updates, they turn green, the dots. So, you know what I'm saying? Like I said, they keep this updated. So, it's not a problem for me. You know, you can skip past most of the uh, cutscenes anyway. Uh, let's see. Um, pick another game. Let's select Afro Samurai. Some, some boondock shit. <laughs> this is probably the only PS3 game I never heard of until I start playing on my modded PlayStation 3. I was like, damn, I, I never understood why I never heard of this game. kind of gory trying to see if I could cut off some limbs you feel me oh shit oh fuck Hey, when I get off this, I'm going on Amazon and I'm getting this game. This has got to be part of my collection for sure. Why wasn't this advertised? Like, you know what I'm saying? I'm pretty sure me and my boys would have been picked up this. Man, Samuel Jackson is a goat, man. He in movies, TV shows, he in every damn thing. He on Alexa, just every damn thing. Okay, obviously I can't skip this cutscene.
Oh shit. I gotta wait till they stand up. Oh shit. And I'm still running at 60 FPS. 4K right now. That shit is crazy, man. These emulators are evolving every day. It's crazy. I heard um, about the original Xbox uh, emulator also. I need to go ahead and check that out also. Since I had a whole library of original Xbox. Well, let me go ahead and back up out of here. And like I said, I mean, it's running smooth. And it's a bunch of games that could be fixed and improved. And I'm pretty sure with the latest updates every day that most of these games will be updated. But, I mean, so far so good. I wanted to start streaming PlayStation 3 games. I was going to use my modded PS3, which for most games I might use until they finish fixing all the issues that they have with the RPCS3. But, yeah, this is your boy Jamarly Trail. Make sure you guys like, share, and subscribe. I'm out.